Hello, this is the point of view lesson for plateaus. Let's begin. Since he was 20, Alan has had terrible back pain. He has been in agony every day. It started when he was 20 years old, and it has continued. And so he has been in agony every single day. He has been in agony because his back has hurt. Terrible pain. He has had terrible, terrible back pain. When did his pain begin? Well, when he was 20. When he was 20... He began to have back pain. It has continued every day after that time. So his back pain has continued. He has been in agony this entire time. During this entire time, from 20 until recently. Well, because he has been in agony all the time, he needed help. So one day he went to a doctor in Los Angeles. He went to the doctor and he said, Please help me. My back is killing me. I am in agony. And the doctor said, Don't do any strenuous exercise. Stay in bed. Alan followed the doctor's advice. He stayed in bed for 11 months. But after 11 months, he was still in agony agony. So next, he went to a doctor in Monterey, California. And the Monterey doctor said, if you are lazy and you stay in bed all day, back pain is inevitable. You must exercise. Well, Alan was in agony. He needed help. And so he followed the Monterey doctor's advice. Alan trained for a marathon. Every day, he ran and he ran and he ran. Now, the back pain was enduring. It continued for a long time. But finally, the pain improved. It didn't improve steadily. No, it improved in spurts, suddenly. Suddenly, the pain improved a lot. And then nothing, nothing, nothing. And then again, suddenly, the pain improved a lot. It improved in spurts. Finally, one day, Alan ran a marathon. And he felt great. He had no pain. In fact, Alan felt serene during the entire race. And he remained serene, calm, and happy for the rest of his life. Okay, that is the end of our first point of view story. The next one goes into the future. Let's begin. Next year, uh, there will be a guy named Alan. He's gonna be in agony. His back will hurt all the time. He will constantly feel pain. He'll be in total, complete agony. Well, finally, one day, he's going to go to a doctor in Los Angeles. And the doctor will say, Alan, don't do any strenuous exercise. Stay in bed. Alan will follow the doctor's advice. He'll stay in bed for 11 months. But after 11 months, he'll still be in agony. So next, he's going to go to a doctor in Monterey, California. That doctor will say, Alan, if you're lazy and you stay in bed all day, back pain is inevitable. You must exercise. Alan will follow the Monterey doctor's advice. 
He'll train for a marathon every day. Every day he's going to run and run and run. But the back pain will be enduring. It will continue for a long, long time. Until one day, finally, it'll improve. But it won't improve steadily. It'll improve in spurts, suddenly. And then nothing. And then another spurt. It will improve suddenly. Finally, the day will come. And Alan will run a marathon race. During the marathon race, he's going to feel fantastic. He's going to feel great. He'll have no pain. He'll feel serene during the entire race. And afterwards, he will remain serene and calm because he will never be in agony again. And that is the end of our point of view stories for plateaus. Again, listen carefully, let hear the changes, and notice what's happening, but don't think about grammar rules, please. That will make you learn more slowly. Just listen, notice, listen, notice. That's all you need to do. All right, hope you enjoy these lessons, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.